Another destroyed mosque. So the Umayyad mosque we can't enter. And they're rebuilding the minaret. They had a very specific minaret, but it's, it's been destroyed during the war, so they are rebuilding it. We can't take pictures. Be careful. Be careful. Wow, okay. So now we are in a mosque that has been destroyed also, always. But you can see it's, it's, it's very different from the others because before it was a, apparently it was a church before. And it is believed also, according to the columns and the leaves on top of the columns, that it was probably a temple of some sort before, probably a Roman temple before, that became a, uh, a church. And then at some point, it, at some point it became a, it became a mosque, but uh, was destroyed again by the war. So you see the hole here, apparently, uh, that's the hole that the rocket came through, and uh, the rocket landed uh, just there. So from just on top of me all the way to, to there. But, uh, but it still uh, partly stands, you can see there. Wow, the cupola is, is damaged as well. The cupola is damaged as well. You can see holes right there. I don't know. Well, it's a little bit scary. It looks like it's almost uh, on the way to. Off. It's on the verge of collapsing. <coughs> yeah, it's very interesting to see the columns. Obviously, it was a Roman temple or something, some sort of pagan temple before. Church, mosque, and then destroyed by the war. I guess that's. Uh, the history of Aleppo, the recent history of Aleppo, and some things are falling. Let's get out of here. And as you can see, they are, they are, apparently they started the process of rebuilding it. See all the signs of the columns, but uh, for some reason they stopped it. Probably no more money, something like that. So basically, and basically the Umayyad Mosque is on, is on the other side, just behind. It's being rebuilt. It was completely destroyed also as well. Well, not as well. This one is not completely destroyed, but the Umayyad mosque was brought to the ground. And it was much less fancy than the Umayyad mosque in, in uh, Damascus. In Damascus, you have all the mosaics, the golden mosaics, uh, while um, in here, the, 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 the king, who, who, who the caliph, who, who started the, building the the Mayan mosque in Damascus put the, the mosque in Damascus took all the money so this one was not finished when the when the caliph died and then his son uh, decided to make it very simple so no no decorations no mosaics like in Damascus because he thought anyway uh, the one in Damascus was going to be remembered in history so his name will not going to be remembered so it was pointless to spend money to to make the huge decorations like in, in Damascus في أريحية بعدين هلا هون كأنه عم يتغلصوا صايرين بعرف أنت تبعنا هون بس so now we are on the way to see an Alipian house So we are heading towards the a traditional Aleppian house here in the narrow streets somewhere in Aleppo. Don't know where. <laughs> Look at the beautiful balcony here. Narrow street and the beautiful uh, balcony. So what um, they explained me also, it's uh, basically that now the, 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 the house we're going to visit is, is being uh, kind of remade because uh, during the war basically they use all the all the outer part of the windows and doors, everything that was wooden and was plastic, they used it all for a uh, for heating system. To they burnt everything for uh, 
to heat the house in the during the winter. So that's why all these parts are have to, have to be remade for the right now. So the, okay, these parts are just going to be repaired, yeah, not replaced. Not, you you keep uh, the original wood. Okay. okay. Original was the doors. Ah, it was doors. Okay, so you can. I told you because it's costy. Yeah. yeah no, uh, uh, without doors. So no. you 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 leave just it without the doors, just the just to put something vase on decoration. Okay. Exactly. Oh yeah yeah, it was the door. Okay. So the doors were burned. Uh, they use. They use for the heating. Used to burn. Yeah, oh, for heating. Okay. Yeah. But the but the structure the the hey, the, the left it still. We left them yes. Okay. Yeah. So they they, they, they they put wood in in between in the stones between stone. to give flexibility for the for the earthquakes in case of earthquake. And you can see the wood is not really flat, so it it has been useful. I can go up? Okay. Let's go up. We can go up. And here we enter. Wow. The traditional house from Aleppo. Let's go to the next room. We are on the other side. Look, we can see a minaret there. It's funny, all this uh, narrow, very narrow courtyard. Probably to keep the to keep the cold. Oh my God! I guess I'm not gonna go on the balcony. They think that's a balcony that's over the, the street. But uh, I don't know if you notice it, but it's a kind of inclined. So I guess uh, it's on the verge of collapsing. And it's about to fall. So you see, they did not burn everything for the heating during the war, but still uh, they burned the doors and the windows, basically. And yeah, and what uh, what Rula explained you also, you have all those those holes with the different shapes. It's it's to make that uh, that that the light comes inside the inside the rooms with uh, different shapes, through different shapes, to have some variety, basically. So I guess that was the quick visit of uh, a traditional Aleppian house. So what he explained also is that, uh, basically in the traditional house, it's funny because you have two floors also, because the, the lower the ground level would be used to live during uh, during summer, so it's cooler, and the first floor is used during winter because the heat goes up. So then you go to live in the first floor in winter, so you have a warmer room. So basically, the house is adapted to to all the seasons and to the harsh seasons in, in here in uh, in Syria because in Syria winter is cold, but uh, summer is very hot. So you have to adapt yourself to that. And also, it's funny. What's funny is there is a well in the in the courtyard. So there is a well. And what they would do is that they would uh, take the water from the well, put it in the fountain, so that's where they store the water, and they can use the water from the fountain. But another uh, kind of uh, funny thing is that, like the rebels, this area was controlled by the rebels, where we are in Aleppo during the war. And, uh, and basically the only reason why the rebels uh, could survive is because like, the government cut the electricity and the, and the water. But uh, because of the wells in the traditional houses of Aleppo, Rebels could survive because they had water basically. Uh, 
And another interesting thing is also that uh, apparently until like 40, 50 years ago, was no, most of the houses, all the traditional houses didn't have uh, shower. So it was like really uh, still normal to go to the souk, to go to the hammam in the souk and to go to take a shower there. And, uh, and the, the proper bathrooms, they had toilets but no shower and the proper bathrooms with shower appeared uh, quite recently when the westerners, westernized uh, way of life came to Syria basically. Yes. We add the new things. Oh, we add new things? Uh, there's a to see it, the first to see it. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, what the, what's that? It's from... That's an old thing. Yeah, to take a shower. That's to take a... Oh! Take, uh, uh, water. Oh, you have water coming from here. Yeah. Yes. yes. And then you would uh, sit uh, on the chair, yes, a wooden chair, is. like I told you in the Azam Palast. Yeah. They would sit on a wooden chair and they would... Oh, and they would, oh, that's how they would buy By Tas. Oh, by, 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 with a cup and a... Yeah, with a cup. Uh, and they pour the water. There is a, a chair, wooden, wooden, wooden chair. chair yeah. or, you, uh, or you lay on the ground. Okay, okay. You know. And here are hot water and... Uh, and cold water. water, you can mix it. You mix together and then... Uh, but this is uh, uh, one piece of stone. Okay, oh, it's one made from one piece of stone. Carved it's carved from one carved. piece of stone, okay. Okay. You just oh. say a new... Uh, uh, because you came here and uh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. You go, let me. That's the traditional iron that you use with uh, basically to to make it hot. You put uh, you put charcoal inside. <laughs> That was used also until like 40, 50 years ago. And that's the grinder that they used to have to use until not so long ago. Also. And so that's the last room of the, of the house, which is the reception room, basically, where you receive your guests. It's very close to the entrance, so you, the guests don't have to come through the common areas. They can come directly to the guest room, so they don't uh, disturb the people living in the, in the house. So that's the balcony of the house. It needs to be remade. As it was. Yeah. Oh, right hand side, okay. Time to turn. Thank you.